Greetings and welcome. Tembucha here and I'm back in Archcraft Linux. I haven't had a chance to play around with customizations lately, but on Friday afternoon, my father came by and dropped off an old beat up laptop. I didn't have pictures of before he brought it over to me, but this is after I fixed it up a bit. It's kind of, it was kind of ghetto. There was a crack here, so I taped it up with some black tape here. And on the back side, <laughs> I used painter's tape mainly because um, there was three screws missing here. And so I didn't want these parts to basically fall apart. So I used what I had on hand and what I had on hand was painter's tape. So uh, <laughs> it looks kind of ghetto, but to be honest, when you flip it upside down, you don't really notice the tape. And so that's what it looks like as the final product. Now when I turned on the computer it had Windows 10 installed in it and Windows 10 took forever. It took ages to boot. I would say well over two minutes and in that state the laptop was pretty much unusable. So what I decided to do was get rid of Windows 10 and install a lightweight distribution onto it and in the end I actually installed two lightweight Linux distributions. So the first one here is called Antics Linux. It's based on Debian 12 Bookworm and it's basically a distribution meant for older computers or underpowered computers. And so I downloaded this one here so the init system is run it and I found out that it's actually a little bit lighter than the sysv init version. So I installed this ISO, the base 64-bit, and I have some footage of the antics running on the laptop. And please note it was recorded on the laptop, so it might be a little um, laggy because that laptop is quite underpowered. So this is the video of antics running on it. There's the INXI specs so you can see it's using the 5.10.188 kernel so this is an older kernel and that's actually good because older kernels are better for older hardware and my CPU or APU on that laptop I should say is a measly um, A6-6310 which is a very let's say garbage APU. <laughs> and you notice here that it's using IceWM window manager and this is a customized theme that I added onto it. I customized it while I was playing around with Spiral Linux and then I just upgraded it slightly and also I altered the menu of the IceWM. So this menu is more simple and more clean looking in my opinion. So it didn't look quite exactly like this, but that's not the point here. The point here mainly is to show you how uh, snappy this computer is running with this lightweight distribution called Antics. And please note that in reality, it's actually faster than this and smoother than this. It's just that it's running the screen recorder. So the screen recorder was kind of laggy. So it actually ran very fast on this system. But one thing I should note since its processor is slow, Firefox did take a while to load. It took several seconds to load and loading YouTube took noticeably longer than my main computer. But at the end of the day, after YouTube was loaded, the videos ran fine even at 1080p. And here you can see it's got Synaptic Package Manager installed. I just went through this quickly in the video. It's not anywhere close to being in depth, but this is the default file manager, ZZZFM, and I also added PCMANFM to this um, operating system. But I never intended for my dad to use Antics, even though it's a great operating system. My dad is not that tech savvy, and I wanted him to use a simpler operating system and I chose vanilla dpup which is a variant of puppy linux and this is the basic theme the overall look of it when you first installed it 
and I have some footage of that also. So I'm just gonna play it for you now. So this is the bootloader. I did customize it a bit and I did have a hard time installing Vanilla Depop. I succeeded by adding my own boot menu entry into the Antic Scrub Loader. And in the end, I was happy that Vanilla Depop worked and started booting. It is a frugal install, if you know what that is. That's a puppy thing. But this is the JWM window manager. It looks okay. I did try to modify it a bit. I changed the theme and the background, but you can only do so much with Joe's window manager. And I wasn't happy with the look of it. And so I fooled around with it some more. And this is what I came up with. And this is how it's going to boot up for my father. So here's once again is the INXI specs for it. And you can see it's rocking a totally garbage 6310 APU. And that's just showing off the word processor. I don't know if my dad will use it, but I just thought I'd throw it in there if he needed some notes or something like that. And I made sure I locked the icons here, right here in the Plank uh, dock, just in case he were to accidentally grab one of these icons and bring them out. That's an easy way to delete icons in the Plank dock. So I made sure I locked it so that that wouldn't happen. And you notice here, I didn't show the demonstration, but it does come with Firefox. This by far is the biggest app on here on the dock and it takes the longest to load. Everything else ran smoothly, but Firefox does take a few seconds to launch, but after it launches, everything works fine. YouTube runs at even 1080p, so that's all he really needed. He needed something to browse the web with and basically to watch YouTube with. Also here, you notice this icon here. I just added that to basically refresh the Plank dock. Sometimes Plank glitches a bit, and if you press this, it'll disappear for a few seconds, and then it'll reappear. And uh, yeah, so I added that for him, and I added one here for him too, just in case if the Plank dock just happened to disappear, he could refresh it here as well. So that's pretty much all that's on there for him. I expect him to not even use the terminal. Mainly, he's just going to use this thing here, uh, Firefox, and this icon here, which is just for him to shut down or log out, whatever. It's definitely not an in-depth uh, review of Vanilla Deep Pop. It was just a quick, brief introduction. And mainly, I just wanted to show how peppy, how snappy these lightweight operating systems are running on this very old and very underpowered computer here. And this is the puppy logout screen for my father. So I hope he enjoyed it, enjoys it, I should say. And um, yeah, I spent quite a few hours working on it, probably half a day. What did I get out of it? Well, he got some free labor from me, but at least I got this video and I hope you enjoyed it. But until next time, have a great day and take care.